drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. Had to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. The kick by Emmett is good. And the Eagles, they take it for it off the season that Drew Brees anticipated when he injured his thumb against the Rams in week two and forced him to miss five weeks. The Saints did go 5-0 during his absence, and when he came back, they didn't miss a beat. Rallied him to another division title and got him into the playoffs, and late in the season, passed Peyton Manning for the most career touchdown passes. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Michael Thomas. The numbers for Thomas from last week's effort. Ten catches, 124 yards. When you turn in good, consistent performances each and every week, you will rank in the top ten in the league in receiving yards. And he's number seven currently, hoping to move up as time goes on. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the last, second and 12. I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great, because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Complete to Traquan Smith. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he can get a good head of steam down. And that's caught by Smith. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. First down, Saints. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. Touchdown, Emmanuel Sanders, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have taken the lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slam and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. And when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Calling a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave it with a third and about five. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Brings up third and the gun. It's wins. That's the full gun complete. And he'll be taken down the half before he gets into enemy territory. A big pick up there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. On first down, Sanders. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. And Sanders there with a first down carry that might have gotten a yard if that second down. 38-yard line, second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. Working from the gun. Lance. Sanders has it over the middle. And this is going to be another first down as the tap is made at the Saints 21. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping the second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The 19-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. With the score, Saints seven, Eagles three. Second and seven. Wentz. That is caught at the seven. And they got it inside the ten at the eight. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. First and goal at the eight-yard line. They'll run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown by Philadelphia. Miles Sanders. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. But Charles, when you catch that toss going right or left or in the right in this instance, do you go straight for the pylon? Is that where you're going? Well, typically you want to try to maneuver people a little bit so you have space to get to the pylon. So I want to make sure I try to move them a little bit to the inside, and in this case to the left, so I get to the right side and get to that pylon and wink at it as I go by. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Oh, yeah. The Saints take over first and 10. Smith and the rest of the offense. Well, he's within shouting distance of a thousand yard season. Going to need a pretty good finish, though, if he wants to reach that mark. Well, I like how you phrased it, partner. He is within shouting distance. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. But he needs a big game in there, right, to make sure that he gets it. So you know that during the week, in practice, and, and look, he asked for the ball all the time anyway. He's really going to ask for the ball and let his quarterback know he's open. Shotgun now for Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. Three yards the game there, second down. Complete to well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield. I need some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. And what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Breeze. The open man is Smith. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Fourth down, no problem. Just a whole home pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Breeze to throw again. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And they end 
result there. Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Tackle made. Offensive the linemen love creating space for your guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the end. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for a first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a game of four. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. From the gun, it's Breeze. And that is incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. Let's put this one through. Good. And that will knot us up at 10. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they weren't able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. Now their passing game has certainly been buoyed by some unbelievable catches. I love that word because if you're the quarterback, if you're the guy throwing it, buoyed would be the word, wouldn't it? Because right now, I think his confidence level is so high. I just throw it out there. They will go get it, and we're seeing some fantastic catches and some great plays as a result. Philly offense set to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive where they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view when you're trying to figure out how to fix things. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. <laughs> to throw his wins. Caught by the tight end and he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a game of 16 and an eagle first down. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. No gain on the play. Second and 10. It's a second down run with Sanders. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Brought down. Right back to back stops. Make it third and ten. It's two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. The all-pro Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense will really pull around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Coming up to the line, 
Carolina. They will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, Camara. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life. No doubt. We have to with me in his beautiful. He's miles away and smiles. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Avoids him at the 40. will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Man open, it's Goodwin. And now the ball's out, fumble near midfield. one Eagles. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. At their own 48-yard line. Shotgun now for Wentz. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. This duo locked in 14 yards there. And a first down. Back to back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. Wentz's throw taken in by Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. Of course, he's coming off that NFC Offensive Player of the Week performance. Two scores in that game a week ago. And how did he get them? Speed is one thing, but how about the niftiness in his route running, able to cross people up in the secondary and make sure that they can't quite get to him before the ball arrives. He's something after the catch as well. That's another Eagles first down. First and goal at the five-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. At this point, I've been impressed with the run defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. And a big turnover there as his guys will give the football back. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. So after the INT, it's Breeze. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Breeze. And we'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze over the middle, open is Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Nothing to pass or defense. And not do that. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now, Breeze again. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 
a four-yard pickup. So we have reached halftime here in a good one. 10-10 is our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. We'll begin out west at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. And it's the Niners who have the lead as those two teams play the second quarter. Two touchdown passes there for Jimmy Garoppolo. From there, we're off to check out another game. And at this point, they trail the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Two touchdown passes there for the former MVP, Matt Ryan. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Arizona Cardinals. 13-10, the final score. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected. All tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. From the Saints now, they'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Throwing on second and eight, Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. That one good for the completion percentage, but no game. It'll be third down. No. No. That's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and stay the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Camara. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. And the Saints first down. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Alva Kamara hit the NFL with a bang. Had double-digit touchdowns in his first two seasons. Now, production fell off a little bit last year. Just six times did he find the end zone. His ability to run it and catch it out of the backfield makes it hard to cover. Look for a bounce-back season in 2020. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's Thomas. That throw Breeze. good for only a couple of brings in third down. Go Thomas. A two the Eagles got on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. To throw is Breeze. And going deep for Hill. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall and catch. At this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him. And... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. Picked up by Dante Maddox. And he's able to get it back to the 33 yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 33 yard line. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there for Philly. 51 yards. This game's right for the 
taking in that run, I think it means he wants to take it. Not only does he want to take it, he doesn't care what they're going to do on the defensive side of the ball. You can be prepared for him. He's coming at you anyway. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And he's not able to get away. Sands back at the 22. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I don't believe you'll do it a second time. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the three-yard line. They'll try to run with Sanders. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the wall. Short of the goal line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to hit him without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Now Wentz will keep it. And this is not going to do it as he stopped her at the two-yard line. Almost want to go Shakespeare here. My kingdom for a yard. Quarterback sneak, nothing doing. Better you be careful. Shakespeare might sue you. Yeah, he might come get me, right? Good luck with that, Bob. The quick slam caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Hakeem Butler, his first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have moved out in front. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. He's got him as they go up by a total of 17-10. to 10. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was kept up for the Eagles touchdown. Turn Deontay Harris. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Breeze now on first down. Now Breeze lost the football. And unfortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. To throw, it's Breeze. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? It's a gain of seven. It brings up second. From the 24, Wentz. 24-yard line. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. 
And now following that sack, looks like we've got an injured man down there on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. taken about a yard deep but he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. getting set to go again here the saints and drew Brees march out there again on offense and he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball yeah and you know the quarterbacks that i know that are the best ones the ones that really know how to lead their team they tell them that's on me that's my bad Let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Following the penalty, it's Camara. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. made at the 36-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and They run it again with Camara. The ball is out. Camara fumbled it. is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position, one guy doesn't get them home, the next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this score will stay right where it is. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at the 45. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Miles Sanders. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line is getting some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. Eagles. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Second and 13, Wentz. That's complete to a speedy wideout, Goodwin. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 31-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Meanwhile here, a run on first down really backfires as he's going to be brought down well behind the line of scrimmage. Brand, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. Wentz connecting with his tight end, Goddard. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. The Eagles on third down. 
well. They've hit four and seven. This is third down and 12. And he'll complete this one to Fulga. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. And a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short. Saints up here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. And after the sack, he's still down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now a man open down the middle of the field. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Saints on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Oftentimes now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. Now Breeze lost the football, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. The defense, they were swarming that time, and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. Now Wentz, catch made by Fulger. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, the first down. Wow, this aggressive approach. Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta? up a first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now here's Goodwin with it on the jack sweep. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. Pick up a two. Brings up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's Sanders, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number of shirts. Great out two touchdowns. And the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter. A two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do. And, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Lucky to have hands. He'd be playing on all of their That's true. You've said that before. Here 
comes Michael Thomas and the rest of the Saints offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Brandon Graham. And they to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. So he's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. To try again after the sack. Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Camaro. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Gain of eight yards. The Saints on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Breeze. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Breeze. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. On first and 10, here's Breeze. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The tight end Josh Hill was the target. And now it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Again, it's Breeze. This is complete to Michael Thomas. Five yards, now it's third and five. Five yards on the play. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Saints on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and five. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. He is going to find Hill here. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 26. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And yeah, let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, Breeze. Open man is Hill. He's got it. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of me. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do. When you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you take the good time. It's a so two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. For it. It's Breeze. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. He's going to be sacked. Back in the 23 yard line. Derek Barnett. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Fletcher Cox in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl corner, Darius Slay. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrate it time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Wentz to throw. 
Uh, he's going to look deep here for Ward. And it's incomplete. We're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. They the the season, and that was to win seven games. And now they've accomplished that mission. And congratulations to them for achieving their goal. They have to finish the season strong, but you got to think that going forward for next year, they're going to jump that number up a little bit higher. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.